Hey guys, it's Jason. In the last video, I showed you how to get money from your checking your savings account and transfer it to your Darwa account. Now in this video, I'm going to show you how to get that money from the Darwa account to your Mt. Gox account. Now this is also very simple, and if you follow these steps, you should be able to do it pretty quick. Now, first thing we need to do is we need to go create a Mt. Gox account. Pretty simple, you go sign up. Problem though, you need to say who you are, you need to prove your identity. So again, just like we did in Darwa. So anyway. What you need to have, what they're going to want, is they're going to want a proof of residency, and they're also going to want a proof of identity. Proof of residency, we're going to be using a, I used a receipt that I got to say for my work uh, payment, which had my name on it and my address, and then for my proof of identity, I just sent in my, at the time, my um, driver's license. Took a picture of it and sent it in. Now, let me warn you, if you live in Europe, it is actually illegal to take a picture of your driver's license. So there's ways and forms on the internet you can go look up, and it tells you how to get around that and how to send it in off race form from the government. But we won't get into that. For this purpose of this video, we will assume you're not you're a North American citizen. Um, but there are ability and ways out there if you want to, and you're a European citizen, to go this route. So once you authorize your account, you prove your identity, and you prove that you live somewhere, then we can go to the actual funds. So then there'll be a link on the page, and it kind of takes a little bit to just move around the page, but there'll be a link inside the page that says Add Funds. Under that, you click Darwin, and it'll say press this button to send funds. So you press the button, it opens up a new page, and voila, it says how much money would you like to deposit? And you pipe in, well, I'd like to put in $10 from my Darwin account to my, you know, Mt. Gox account. You can choose to pull it from checking or savings, but remember, Darwa takes three to five days. So if you're going to do that option, kind of defeats the point of using Darwa. What I would do is already have the money from Darwa in there and just take it from your Darwa account. And it will say your current balance is da 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 da. Would you like to select from here? Yes, I would. Click that. And then you put the money in that you want. So say, let's say $10. You press it. I'd say give it anywhere between your server capabilities to give it about an hour. And voila, in your Mt. Gox account, it'll come up to the very top and say you have 10 USD. That's great, but now you still have money. You, you have the money in the area you need it, but you want to buy Bitcoins. So from here, you have two options. You can buy at current trade prices, which is say, say Bitcoin's at 723 right now, or 1723, let's say that. Then it will buy at the current exchange price, or you can give it a price set. For the beginner point, I will tell you, just go off what the current price is, which means it will say use current market price, click, yes, I'd like to do that and then type in how many Bitcoins you'd like to spawn, which in this case you'll say, oh, I want to buy 10 USD dollars worth of Bitcoins. It will say, well, this is how much you'll be able to buy at current market price. You'll say, okay, confirm, transaction complete. Voila, you have just completed it and bought Bitcoins. Congratulations and welcome to the Bitcoin community. In the next video, I'll show you how and what you can do with Bitcoins and why it is such a unique and complex but amazing and important system for our new economy.